making headlines around the state tonight on this fourth day of Governor Gavin Newsom's statewide tour. The governor today introduced a new plan he says will improve mental and behavioral health care across California. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace joins us from the state capitol with a look at the plan and how Republicans are responding. We can fix this. Governor Gavin Newsom speaking with a sense of optimism today as he announced his intention to place a multi-billion dollar bond measure on the 2024 ballot, one he says will help the state treat people experiencing mental illness, substance use disorders, and homelessness. We have to address and come to grips with the reality of mental health in this state and our nation. It's unacceptable what we're dealing with at scale now in the state of California. That's why Newsom says he's proposing a three to five billion dollar bond measure, the exact figure still in the works. He says it will create mental health treatment campuses across California that would be home to a combined minimum of at least 6,000 behavioral health beds. In his words, the sickest of the sick would have priority. To stabilize individuals that are in acute states of psychosis, people that are self-medicating with drug or alcohol addictions. We're fooling ourselves that if we don't address that fundamental need, that we can turn this thing around, that we can have the impact that we continue to promote. Speaking in San Diego at a soon-to-be psychiatric crisis unit, the governor is also calling for changes to the Mental Health Services Act passed by the legislature some two decades ago. His plan would amend the act to ensure $1 billion in already generated state funding goes toward behavior behavioral health services, including help for U.S. veterans. These promises that we promote all the time about how much we value our veterans as it relates to these issues, a big component of the bond is getting serious about that and taking it to the next level. In a statement, Republican Assembly Minority Leader James Gallagher responded to the governor's plan, saying we'll need to make sure that those suffering from severe mental illness and drug addiction actually get the treatment they need, even if they don't volunteer for it. That's the truth behind the governor's latest shiny object. And as for the governor's tour, it includes a stop this afternoon at the U.S.-Mexico border, something he spoke about this weekend as the state works to address the opioid crisis. Too much of it is flowing across this border in the state of California, and we are mindful of that, and we are committed all prongs of our approach to fentanyl to address this crisis. We're taking it very, very seriously.